Hey family, what's going on? Klaus here and welcome back to some Clash of Clans where today I am on my Town Hall 9 and we're going to be discussing how to make your troops go where you want them. Wouldn't that be nice to like always be able to control your troops? So there are lots of little tricks, tips and tricks and things that you can do and I'm using P.E.K.K.A. which are one of the hardest troops to funnel because they're rebellious and so is the Queen and the Queen's rebellious too. So we're going to be trying the, the biggest problem in Clash of Clans and that's again controlling where your troops end up. Uh, generally in my Town Hall 9 I'm using a, a Witch Army, I used it I think last episode, but I've decided to go back to the P.E.K.K.A. Wizard Army because I, I actually don't have an excess of Dark Elixir today. So I'm going to be using this army, it works perfect for the subject matter. So let's go out, let's smack a couple of bases and basically I'm just going to be looking for bases that have a decent amount of Dark Elixir. But yeah, funneling. Telling your troops where to go. Making it happen, Cap'n. That's the hardest thing. Now, uh, the troops that are the hardest to funnel are things like the Queen, things like Bowlers, even things like Wizards because they can see over the walls. Uh, the easiest things to funnel, in my opinion, are things like Balloons or Hogs or different types of troops that focus on defenses because that means that they ignore a lot of the Hokum troop, the, like the trash buildings out there, and they focus primarily on the defenses so it's easier to figure out where they're going to go. The biggest issue and why this is a hard thing to do is because when you're looking at the base, you're not looking at it from a bird's eye view a 90 degrees. You're looking at it from the side, probably more like like 60 degrees. And so st stuff that's in front of you looks closer than things behind you, but they're actually it's it's not as easy to figure out. So it's definitely a trained strategy to figure out which direction things are going. So, let's uh, let's start with this one. Okay, this is going to be an easy one. So, all the loot's pretty much on the outside. And so, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use this corner. And I'm going to take advantage of this corner between the Spell Factory and the Dark Barracks. Okay? I'm going to throw in the P.E.K.K.A. inside the corner right there in the face of uh, that uh, the Elixir Collector. Now, again, one of the best things about the army camps is that they're fantastic at funneling. Okay? So, what I've done with two Wizards and one P.E.K.K.A is I have driven, oh, I was too slow with my wall breakers. Anyway, I've forced the Pekka to go inside by taking out the outside buildings and basically just taking away its options. Uh, you don't want to give them freedom. You want them to do exactly what you want them to do. So kind of the same thing. This is a corner, so I'm going to put it there, drop a wizard there. Now we do have a problem that Orchard Tower is a little bit too close, so I'm not going to be able to funnel that one out very well, but I am going to be able to use the army camp. See, the army camps are a gift for anybody who is trying to design a base. They're a, a gift. I'm going to drop these wall breakers just to see if I can get the P.E.K.K.A. to go inside as well. See, P.E.K.K.A. has nowhere to go, so P.E.K.K.A. is going to go inside the base. Let's go and drop the other one too, for fun. There you go. Oh, I didn't think it was actually going to make it to the wall. That was awesome. All right, so I've gotten both the Dark Elixir drills. I've gotten all the Dark Elixir except for in the storage. Now, let's go ahead and try to get to the storage now. P.E.K.K.A., I'm going to drop one of them on the outside, and it will funnel itself, especially if I put a few wizards directly behind it, since all of its options have been removed. Uh, let's also do something kind of similar on the top, where I'm going to throw in a few P.E.K.K.A. on the outside perimeter. And, uh, wow, dropped. Ha! I accidentally closed my app. I did that earlier today, and I thought, how bad would that be if I did that in a video? Just did it in a video. Crazy. So, bowlers are going to be sending them in now. Now, the, the question now is, how do we break through the walls? Now, P.E.K.K.A. do a lot of damage, but it doesn't matter. Wall breakers or something is kind of essential. And I forgot to bring a jump spell. That's kind of unusual. Uh, so to, to force them to go in toward the Dark Elixir storage, you do have to funnel out everything that's in the way. This one is, uh, it's, it's got an opening, so that means that everything's gonna walk around. This one is closed up, so I could potentially, and it's the queen. The queen's the only thing that's gonna go into the middle. Because there's an opening, everything is gonna go basically in the wrong direction. Let's drop a poison on this queen here. Uh, I'm also going to drop a Rage and a Heal on this Queen. And now let's shift gears. We're not going to talk about the P.E.K.K.A. We're going to decide they're gone, they're dead forever. Uh, now let's talk about the Queen. So she will access, I think it's uh, four tiles behind every wall. So you really have to be good at funneling to get her to go where you want her. Now, unfortunately, that wall breaker we just placed just ruined it for us. Because that wall was weak and the Queen decided to go for that wall. But because of all these little compartments, like on the outside here, it really prevented me from uh, from making it into the core. So, I do have a few P.E.K.K.A. that are still alive. We might get lucky and they might actually go for the outside wall. No, they're gonna go for the inside wall. That's a bummer. Well, like I said, that wasn't really, whenever I first started attacking, I wasn't really trying to funnel to get into the core. That was a secondary thought and I wasn't set up for it. So, but we did pretty well and we got everything that we needed. I was able to get the P.E.K.K.A. to go everywhere I wanted up until the end whenever I decided to change my mind. And that doesn't normally work with your troops. They don't like it when you change your mind. 
You got to be consistent with your troops. <laughs> so anyway, that was pretty good. Uh, again, the wall broke, that last wall breaker that I cheered because it actually broke the wall. I think that's what ruined it for me. Um, let's try it again. This time, requesting for CC. I don't really care if I get CC because, again, it's not really all that realistic to get Clan Castle troops every single attack. So let's just go attack. I've got no poison spell either. You know what? I'm going to gem that. It's only six gems. I get that more than more than that every day with the bushes and stuff. And let's do this again. But this time, let's really focus on trying to get into a base. I'm going to try to find a base that's got a good amount of Dark Elixir on the inside like that, but more. All right, I'm going to attack this base. It's a Town Hall 9. It's got Dark Elixir on the inside. And because of the way it's designed with these like chevron corners and stuff, as long as you remove the outside corners, the troops will go in toward the middle. And so I'm going to demonstrate how to do that right here. So first things first, um, I'm going to place down, let's just do kind of the same thing. I'm going to use the armor camp as a way of, uh, of funneling out. So let's put down the P.E.K.K.A. there. I think this mortar is going to, oh, the mortar is actually targeting the P.E.K.K.A. That's perfect. All right, and I'm going to put a few more wizards behind that to maybe get rid of the Archer Tower. Let's do the same thing on this far side out here. And uh, put a couple of those down. We have a king. So should I poison the king? No, no, no. Let's drop the two P.E.K.K.A. on either side. Uh, wizards all the way around as well. Wall breakers to dive into the end here. And un unfortunately, I wasn't able to funnel because the heroes are in the way. But it all works out in the end. Watch this. So let's drop a rage and a heal. I'm going to poison. And I've also got a jump spell. So if we have troops that decide to go off their merry way, uh, I'll still be able to get those troops to go into the core because of sheer numbers. So that's also a big part of funneling is limiting where your troops can go. But also, if you put a bunch of troops all at once, then they'll funnel for each other to dive into the core. It's pretty awesome. Let's drop another jump just to get those P.E.K.K.A. to move. But I think that'll do it. We actually got into the Dark Elixir Storage, got it done easy. And uh, although I won't win the raid this time, we didn't get enough percentage. Uh, we got all the Dark Elixir, which is what I came for. So it worked out perfect every single time. And that's how you funnel your troops. Uh, <laughs> I like it. Uh, 2800 Dark Elixir, that'll definitely help me with my hero upgrades, which is what I'm going to do here on my Town Hall 9 Let's Play. So let's bounce over and decide what we're going to do here. All right, so laboratory. Uh, first things first. Laboratory. I want to upgrade this P.E.K.K.A. These P.E.K.K.A. are not maxed out. So these P.E.K.K.A. were not maxed, which means hit points and damage output wasn't maxed. And that means that they're not doing what they're supposed to do, right? I want to upgrade them and have the strongest army that I'm using at that moment. So 3.2 million elixir, 4.5 to upgrade, 3 to 1. Bam. Very good. I basically used up all my elixir. Uh, I had other plans for that elixir, but I forgot that the laboratory was available. Now I can upgrade both heroes. 36,000 for the queen and 39,000 for the king. So what is that? 46, 70, 75,000, something like that. So I had enough. I have enough now for probably next queen upgrade, but I'm going to keep pushing hard, trying to keep that dark elixir storage as close to maxed out as possible. Now, can I upgrade any of these drills? They're all, okay. We have two level four, one level five. They're maxed out. I did do more storage and collector and mine upgrades off camera. I'll keep doing that whenever I get a chance to. So let's work on defenses. I'm going to work on this new air defense. So it's <laughs> it's definitely the weak point right here. So 500,000 gold, three to one, bam. Let's also work on this new sweeper, which goes to level five. And it's level one. So that's unacceptable. Let's go and upgrade that. And then we got one more builder. So I'm thinking about doing maybe like this new archer tower still. The new defenses obviously give you a lot more bang for your buck. Which means I've got an extra three and a half million gold. And I've got lots of it in the treasury too. So why don't I go ahead and collect the treasury? Okay, I didn't have a lot. I had a, a decent number. Not a lot. Uh, so, uh, so yeah. Okay, so four million. So that means I can do eight, eight walls. So let's just notch. Is that eight? Nah, it was not quite. It was close. Nice. Okay, four million gold. More wall progress. Insane, dude. I'm going to be done with walls well before anything else, I think, at this rate. And now let's work on this new Archer Tower. Just continue to push. Continue to get these things done. Let's go. Three, two, one. Bam. And that's all five builders. We've done it. We have succeeded. We've accomplished the goal of keeping all five builders and that laboratory rolling 24-7. Queen, uh, King and Queen will wake up in a couple, two or three days. King will be level 22. Queen will be level 18. And uh, obviously the goal is level 30 before the laboratory is done. The laboratory, I suspect, will be the last thing that we do at Town Hall 9. 
So, anyway, guys, that's going to be it for me today in this episode of our Town Hall 9 Let's Play. Thank you so much for tuning in. Hope you learned something. Hope you enjoyed yourself. If you did, like the video, subscribe, join the class family for daily gaming videos. Uh, ring that bell for notifications, and do not forget to use code Klaus if you guys decide to buy something in the game. There's a link in the description to input that code automatically. That's all from me, guys. Remember that I love each and every one of you, and I will see you all again next time.